Modern Tokyo, the capital of the Japanese Empire back in the 1930s, was one of the largest cities in the world. And in the East, it had a unique distinction of assimilated exterior forms into traditional Japanese style combined with modern architecture of the modern world. We're going to see the city and how it adopted American customs and Western architecture to arouse the great nation of Japan from the slumber to become a world empire. Let's take a look at this city back in 1935, modern Tokyo. It became one of the fastest growing cities in the world. At the time, it had a population of about 6 million. Massive earthquake and fire, which destroyed much of Tokyo. And subsequently, a lot of the buildings had to be rebuilt. And with the rise of the Japanese Empire, it became much more modern than what old Tokyo was. More so as we can see here in the heart of Tokyo, the picturesque style of the ancient moat surrounds the Imperial Palace, where the residents of Tokyo and the majesty of the Emperor of Japan was said to be a direct descendant of the Sun God. He was said to be the 124th deity by order of birth and succession, making him the oldest living member of a ruling dynasty in the history of mankind up until that moment. The double bridge, which none of the royal families uh, knew of, many of the elites would cross back to the important buildings as well that escaped the horrible catastrophe of 1923. Here we can see one of the hotels that also had a great architecture in the Western style, which was completed in the year of the earthquake and became a temporary shelters for many of the victims of the 1923 earthquake. Prior to this, it was visualized in many Western media as a place of a backward society. However, when this film was released, it became a place that completely upended what people thought beforehand. And it became a very vibrant city that many were able to see adopted Western architecture with also Western machinery and foreign trappings as well. The reason why it was so unique is because not only did they combine these things, but they still held on to many of the Japanese traditions. This would later become a social center for many travelers and many important officials as well. This is Theater Street. A street of colorful illustrations of Japan's great love for theatrical entertainment. There was almost 2,000 motion picture theaters in the country, and at the time, it boasted some of the greatest Japanese signs. Interesting that even though Western eyes might not be able to decipher the actual text, but the colors and the vibrant photos themselves really put us into the world of how we want to see even what these foreign films had. The Japanese motion picture industry as well became one of the most popular at the time. And here we can see too, one of the ancient Japanese uh, traditions of Jiu Jitsu. And here we can see one of the ancient Japanese uh, martial arts as well on full display. Jiu-Jitsu Jiu -Jitsu is taught in many of the Japanese schools at the time, and it's even considered at the time one of the 
most important uh, teachings coming from Japanese schools. Every year on March 3rd, we can see this is the day in which these family of Japan celebrates this festival with occasional dolls for the generations to be brought, honored and caressed with childlike, uh, uh, childlike affection. The Japanese doll is not just the means of a plaything, but it's a way for them to be taught the importance of their role in the family and the generations of children to be able to understand the importance of caring for the family as well. And here we can see many effigies of the Emperor and Empress on full display as well. Boys too have their own day as well, heralding the flying of this uh, carp light kite. And it became a custom for the homes too to be decorated to show the deeds of their ancestors as long as, as well as their national heroes as well. Here we can see the armor of famed Japanese warriors, which became symbols of overcoming, which was taught even from the young age of the Japanese schoolboys. And they became engraved in their minds of the importance of these national heroes. Even the sea ships and harbors of Tokyo and Yokohama is in strike difference from the ones we can see in the Western world. It absorbed the new modern use of navies, but still kept many of their traditions alive. This really shows the bridging of the Eastern world with the Western world, which had not been done up until this time. 